Laudetur Jesus Christus. Today I want to say a few things about the difference between the indicative mood of verbs and the subjunctive mood. In Latin they are called the modus indicativus and the modus conjunctivus. The indicativus, the indicative mood, is used to express an action that's actually taking place. For example, I see my friend. Video amicu meum. We have already used the word videre over and over again. Video in the present tense. Video, vides, videt, videmus, videt is vident. That is the indicative mood because it is used to indicate or to point out some action actually taking place. Such as, video amicum meum, I see my friend. Now I might want to say another sentence. For example, I come in order that I may see my friend, so that I may see, in which case I am speaking about an action that's potentially taking place, hypothetically, and I'm expressing a desire, a wish, or a suggestion that something should happen, that I may see my friend. In Latin I would say, venio, I come, ut, in order that, so, or so that, videam, amicum meum, that I may see, is videam. So we see that instead of using auxiliary words, also in this case, we change the ending, the ending of video, present tense indicative, is changed to videam, present tense conjunctivus, subjunctive. And the meaning of videam is that I may see. The present tense Conjugation of videre is video vides videt videmus videt is vident. The present tense conjugation of the modus conjunctivus, the subjunctive mood, is videam videas videat videamus videatis videant. And the meaning is that I may see, that you may see, that he or she may see, that we all may see, that you all may see, and that they may see. Videam, videas, videat, videamus, videatis, videant. So here we can see that the way of expression in Latin is very different from the way of expression in English. We are used to uh, employ various auxiliary words to express the notion of a possibility, whereas in Latin we merely change the personal endings of certain words. So again, let me go back to the difference between the two sentences. Video amicum meum, I see my friend, and I come in order to see my friend, venio, Ut videam amicum meum. Another example might be that let's say I'm sitting in a classroom and the students in front of me are all bunched up together. And I might say, we have plenty of room, why don't you spread out in order that those who do not see may see me and those who do not hear me may hear me. So in Latin I would say, volo ut, I want, 
that qui non vident those who do not see videant may see et qui non audiunt those who do not hear audiant volo ut qui non vident videant et qui non audiunt audiant I want to make sure that those who do not see may see and those who do not hear may hear and now let's look at a complete uh, sample of the four verbs of laudare, videre, dicere, and audire in this subjunctive mode, that is in the modus conjunctivus. The present tense indicative for videre as I have said, is video, vides, videt, videmus, videt is vident. The modus conjunctivus is videam, videas, videat, videamus, videat is videant. For dicere, the present tense indicative is dico, dicis, dicit, dicimus, dicit is dicunt. And the conjunctivus is dicam, Dicas, dicat, dicamus, dicat is dicant. For audire, the present tense indicative is audio, audis, audit, audimus, auditis, audiunt. And the modus conjunctivus, the subjunctive mood, is audiam, audias, audiat, audiamus, audiatis, audiant so that we, I may hear, so that you may hear, that he may hear, that we may hear, that you may all hear, that they may hear. Or I could, it could also express the idea where in English we say, let us hear. I might say, let us hear this musician. Audiamus. It's enough in Latin to say audiamus, means let us hear. Or videamus, let us see. So we see that in the second, third, and fourth conjugation, the endings are am, as, at, amus, atis, ant. However, in laudare, the indicative present tense, as we have seen before, is laudo, laudas, laudat, laudamus, laudatis, laudant. We already used up the as, at, amus, atis, ant. So we have to have some other ending to express the subjunctive mood. And in the case of laudare, the subjunctive is laudem, laudes, laudet, laudemus, laudetis, laudent. So there in the indicative is o, as, at, amus, atis, ant, and the conjunctivus is m, s, et, emus, etis, ent. So I come in order that I may praise you, venio ut laudem te. That I may praise you, laudem, that you may praise your friend, ut laudes amicum tuum, that he may praise his friend, Ut laudet amicum sum. And plural, laudemus, that we may praise. So all the uh, verbs whose stem is in a, such as laudare, amare, orare, rogare, and any others in are, in the modus conjunctivus, they take up the endings of m, s, et, emus, et, is, ent. For example, oramus means we pray. Oremus means let us pray or may we be praying. Oremus. It would be best to look at some other examples in order to become 
somewhat familiarized with this notion of the modus conjunctivus because it is very different, as I said, from English and sometimes these things are best learned by looking at examples instead of talking about the theory behind them. So let's look at another example. This one is taken from a letter of St. Paul somewhere, I don't know which one, but it says, one who is standing should see to it, or make sure, that he may not fall. Or one who is standing should see to it not to fall. Qui stat, one who is standing. Stare, sto, sta, stat, stamu, stat, is stant, is to stand. Qui stat, who stands, videat, may he see. Videat, ne Kadat, may he see, not to fall. Kado, kadis, kadere, is conjugated like dico, dicis, dicere, and it means to fall. Kado, kadis, kadit, kadimus, kaditis, kadunt. And the conjunctivus may fall, I may fall, you may fall, he may fall, is kadam. Kadas kadat, kadamus kadatis kadant. So qui stat videat ne kadat, who stands, may he see that he may not fall. Qui stat videat ne kadat. Another example is taken from the Gospel of Saint Luke, where Jesus meets a blind man. And Jesus is asking him, what do you want that I may do for you? And he said, Lord, so that I may see. The Latin goes like this. Jesus interrogavit illum, interrogare is to ask. Interrogavit illum dicens, quid tibi vis faciam? What to you do you want? that I may do. Facio facis facit, facim is faci, facimus, facit is faciut, is to do. And the modus conjunctivus is faciam facias faciat, faciamus faciatis faciam. So Jesus interrogavit illum dicens, quid tibi vis faciam? At ille dixit, and he said, Domine, ut videam, Lord, that I may see. So with these examples, I close this session, also because there is some noise outside and it will be interfering with uh, recording this. I will continue with this subject later. I hope that this is a useful introduction to the idea of Wishful thinking, you might think of it, the modus conjunctivus. How do we express the idea of persuasion, suggestion, wishful thinking, or a mild uh, command? Interia valeatis quam optime.